From the shores of Gaza to the mountains of Afghanistan, the Middle East and North Africa is the largest refugee hosting region in the world. Millions are displaced or fleeing from war, ravaged countries to neighboring ones that are struggling with the economic and social scars of their own conflicts. These desperate families, millions of them, have run to safety only to find there is nowhere else to go. Living stagnant lives in tended camps or disappearing into the poorest areas of towns and cities, they are left to rebuild their lives in countries that are struggling to cope with their own impoverished populations. With resources limited, these families often face resentment and discrimination at overcrowded schools and in the queues to find work for cash or food. Family life is fraught with challenges and hope is not easily found. And all this before a global pandemic arrived. On this month, World Refugee Day, I ask you to join us in prayer for the millions of refugee families surviving this way across the Middle East and North Africa today. Last year, we heard from a father who had fled with his family from Syria about what it was like to be living in a refugee camp as the global pandemic took hold. <laughs> More recently, we met baby Tayyim's family. Tayyim survived a five-hour drive from the refugee camp where his family have been living since 2012 to the nearest hospital. His mother told us what life is like for her as a parent who is now also a refugee. توفى لي ولد منهم حديت الان مثلا ما بنسى حديت الان بخاف انه على ولد من اولادي يصير له شيء هلا بتم بخليهم قاعدين بالخيمه بروح على المدرسه بيرجع خلص قاعد بقلب الخيمه ما عاد في طلعه the cycle of death disruption displacement and poverty for families means trauma fear and the end of formal education for children last month the violence in the Holy Land left 300 dead and more than 152,000 displaced. The conflict is no longer on our television screens, but thousands of lives lie in the rubble and somehow rebuilding must begin. Let us pray that the broken-hearted turn to his love and hope and not to be hopelessness and revenge. Let us pray that this devastating cycle is broken. Pray for the church to be a channel of his peace in the region. Pray for the children that they may hear the words of love, comfort, and to be raised to forgive and love their neighbor. Pray for those lost and grieving that they may have his comfort. Pray for his justice, his mercy, and his peace to reign across the Middle East and North Africa region. We thank you for your prayers. Goodbye and God bless you all.